Well everyone, you join us. It's been a while since we've had a big tour, but you join us at Harris Port and we're going to explain a little bit more about what we're doing when we get to uh, the boat. But uh, we're at Harwich Port now and uh, we're getting the night boat over to Hooker Holland. We haven't filmed on the way down, it's been an absolute nightmare because of various diversions and everything else. So we don't board for another 30 minutes. So I think uh, a nice glass of coke might be uh, on the cards. So if you stick around for a little bit we'll explain what we're actually going to be doing. We got Jazz. My dad hasn't got his camera on yet but we got my dad on his sparkly new 2023 V-Strom 650. And it's been an absolute pig of a ride down. Because there's been diversion after diversion after diversion. And I don't mean the type made by Yamaha. So we'll put the cameras back on when we're getting on the boat and we'll explain a little bit more about what we're doing. So we're going to show you going onto the boat. We've never been on this boat before so this one's quite exciting for us. What do you reckon Jazz? Hi. And I'm glad we're not having to do what these poor buggers in front are having to do. It's about nine and uh, unusually for English efficiency they said we'd be boarding at nine and we're boarding at nine. Is there any reason why you're having to take up the entire platform? <laughs> Typical f push bikes in it. It's loud with all them vehicles going above us. There's our cosy cabin. They can bike trails. <laughs> hey, I tell you what, a lot nicer than that one we had for Spain. <laughs> yeah. It is actually really nice. <laughs> it's a pretty good cabin. We've got a window. And a little bathroom. Yeah, it doesn't look, it doesn't look too bad actually. A toilet, a sink and a shower. It's a nicer one than uh, I had in that Leonardo hotel I stayed in for work. It's a nice, nice cleaner. Ooh. <laughs> Just give it some welly. There we go. <laughs> So guys, welcome. You find us on the cabin um, of the Stella Hollandia doing the uh, Harwich to Hooker Holland crossing. It's 11 o'clock, the boat's just gone. We didn't film much on the way here because, to be honest, it was diversion after diversion after diversion. And a 240 mile trip ended up being about 320 mile and taking all day. And we got here about 8 o'clock, so it was, it was a much longer day than we expected. And it was mostly A roads and diversions, which would have been boring. So we haven't had a big trip since 2019. Everything we organised because of COVID for the first couple of years just got wiped out, as probably did with most of you. Um, so this is our first big one since Italy. And tomorrow we land in Holland and then we're heading through Holland, through the top of Germany and up to the top of Denmark. And that's going to take us about three days. And then 
we've got about two weeks and we're going to be going around Norway now we're not going to have time to get all the way up to the top of NordCap but we're going to go and make sure we visit the Arctic Circle while we're there and get up to the Arctic Vis Circle Visitor Centre so first big one we've done um, since 2019 we've we've just done some Scotland stuff and that since then and we haven't bothered uploading it really because we know you guys wouldn't be interested in just seeing us go to Scotland all the time so I hope you enjoy it, we're going to take you along for the ride and my work is always hectic so I'll edit what I can I'm going to try and get a video up at least every two weeks but please bear with me and uh, we'll see you in the morning because it's been a really long day and it's a really nice boat we've had a quick look around but time to go to sleep so we'll catch you in the morning Go on. And we had some nice food. <laughs> <laughs>
be a nice view from one of them houses there. Right, we're in a 30 zone now. More beds on the roundabout. She's a nice place to spend two minutes. Yeah. In the shade. Yeah. yeah. Well, I've got to say, so far, Holland's a very, very pretty country. Only thing is, everything's shut on a Sunday, so you've got to find these places to stop. Uh, I think there's worse places to stop, eh? <laughs> So what are we thinking then guys, after four years of no touring, how's the bones holding up on day two? How's, the butt, how's the butt holding up on day two? <laughs> yeah, that's just alright. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the wrist. Yeah. My arse is a little bit sore after that ride. <laughs> oh yeah, we need that's to uh, introduce oh, the yeah, new member of the team. There we go. There's new donkey. Yeah, donkey too. Donkey too. <laughs> How are you finding it so far? Quite nice, special. A bit nippy. What you need, innit? Yeah. They've definitely got a lot more power than the old ones, did they? Yeah. Maybe uh, need a, f a flip screen on it, maybe. So that's, when, that's when we get back, is it? When we get back. <laughs> Put a flip screen on. Are you going to buy one or are you going to do that mod? Well, if it, if it, if it comes past the, uh, what's it called? Bike dealer. <laughs> yeah, a polo. A polo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are we, are we going to find a polo now? Is there a polo on the route? <laughs> According to my thing, my bike says 29 degrees. Mine says 28, so... Jamie's hot stuff. You can definitely feel the difference when you come out in the sunshine, eh? You expect to see some massive, great big 500 foot long barge in one though, don't you? You do it on the bigger rivers. They're there for land trainings, aren't they? Yeah. Wasn't like a lot of Holland actually below sea level anyway. Yeah. Look at those little detached houses. Yeah, nice. Oh, very nice, aren't they? Yeah. Should be in Germany soon. Some of the bits around here look positively Amish. Yeah.
shaming number plate on a car coming the other way. Not that that really means anything. <laughs> Seems to be quite a lot of buildings that are falling down for whatever reason. Surely that can't be an actual petrol station. It looks like it is. It's got a car machine and everything. In Germany now. Hey, Germany. It's not a bit scruffy. <laughs> It's amazing that those people there live about three quarters of a mile from those people there and they live in a completely different country. <laughs> some of the kids will be going to school in different countries to where they live. Possibly. There's definitely people going to be working in a different country. I can confirm that this jacket's actually not too bad in this temperature though. <laughs> I don't think I've ever worn it in this kind of temperature before. 29 now. Yeah. To be honest, I always thought that I'd really suffer if I didn't have like a fully vented jacket for uh, this kind of temperature, like a fully mesh one. But actually this one's not too bad. I'm a bit warm. Oh, lovely, thank you. <laughs> did you your dinner? Did you your dinner? Good, Jay? Nice. <laughs> so, good evening, everyone. Um, everyone else has gone to bed. I'm just up doing a little bit of file downloading and everything else, and uh, just checking some details for tomorrow. Um, Feels a bit weird being back abroad after a few years of not doing it and to be honest we're completely out of practice so sore backsides and, and cramp and everything else all day and it, it's taken us longer to do the mileage than it, it used to. I think it's just because we're completely out of practice so we're hoping that um, it'll, it'll come back to us but even things like just remembering to stop and film and everything else, it's just completely forgotten how to do it I think. so. Uh, you know, hopefully over these first couple of days, to be honest, we've done quite a bit of main road, so I'm not sure how much is going to make it onto this. We might just express the series straight to, to Norway. But hopefully there's um, there's something there for you. We're staying in this really nice B&B that we'll show you in the morning, but everyone's gone to bed for now. We had a really nice meal out down the road. So, uh, yeah, so uh, hopefully we've got something for you so far. And uh, 
we'll get back into practice, do a bit more filming, and we'll catch up with you tomorrow. So thanks a lot, guys. Brace yourself. Yeah.